Let's see if I can pull this off without making an abject fool out of myself. It's a little bit late for that, fool. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so this is <clears throat> how I hold my katana. <laughs> yeah, mom. I just made the other video, so I don't know which uh, words I'm using. <laughs> and uh, hold on, I got something in my way. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Now I can actually, now I can actually move and stand in a proper stance. Uh, as far as uh, how one stands, not that you can see it, but uh, the you know your feet are basically you know the the lead foot's kind of at twelve o'clock, and then the uh, the back foot's kind of at a, a slight bit of an L, sort of um, you know more aiming towards seven or eight o'clock. That's how you maintain balance. The right hand um, grips the, the the saber at the choke. I don't know if I can do this, but you know, well, this is not the easiest saber to to do spins with because it's a little bit a little bit on the thick side here. But uh, so you you hold that. And then uh, you kind of control the the balance of the saber from the end. You actually kind of just sort of using this hand to, to guide it you know, as far as the strike goes. You know that's that's you know a traditional sort of strike that one might find in in uh, in a samurai movie. <laughs> So you're coming down with, with all of your force. And when you hold the blade above your head with, for a strike like this, you're actually holding the blade sort of over your head like this. Um, and the, the idea of that is you're supposed to be presenting a lower profile to the, to the opponent that's in front of you so they don't know the length of your blade. And it's sort of like a ranging problem here. You're trying to you're trying to confound them, so that you know you know what the length of your blade is, but maybe they don't. And then you come in and you strike. And of course, this can be done straight down, or at an angle. You just sort of imagine if someone's wearing a robe, right? and where the, the the flaps kind of cross over one another and form a v that's essentially what you're aiming for are those spots on the right and the left where the you know the the angle of the of the lapel or the whatever you want to call it the <coughs> the uh, the collar of the robe you're coming in and you're striking that. Of course, when you're going for the overhead chop, you know, you're, you're kind of aiming for the head. And, uh, and of course, then you can... So, that's the general gist. It's sort of the, the centerpiece of my particular style. And of course, you know, I do orbits and I do spins and I do all the requisite, uh, you know, techniques that, that everyone else might do. But rarely will I, you know, kind of offer this kind of technique and flip it around. I, I certainly don't do this. I, I don't, there, there's no point to that. I mean, it looks good. You can do whatever you want, of course, but, um, yeah, so, basically I just wanted to kind of, I don't know, provide a bit of a demonstration for what I was talking about in the previous video as far as, you know, holding the katana, of course, with the saber, this, uh, being the uh, most katana-esque saber that I own, with the, you know, the suva, and this, of course, is the specter, and, uh, I really do love this saber. Look at those, look at those windows. Look at this little cube thing. Just everything about this saber is just brilliantly made. 
Yeah. So you get to see a little bit more of me, <laughs> as it were. And, uh, yeah, and that's my take. I'm really interested in seeing uh, or hearing from everybody about, you know, what their preferences are uh, regarding, you know, how the, your style. I mean, your style is your style. Obviously, you're entitled to, to do whatever you want. I just sort of approach this more of a practical, you know, warrior standpoint. You know, for a fictional, you know, weapon, um, it's, it's just my nature to, to kind of approach it as as if it was a, a real weapon in a real world situation and, and I actually had to defend myself, you know, this is, this is how I would approach it in the, in the apocalypse. <laughs> Not that uh, we're going to have an apocalypse uh, anytime soon. Uh, and uh, you know, not for a while yet, <laughs> but that's, that's a subject for another day. At any rate, I hope you, uh, you got something out of this video and, um, I, I look forward to your comments and you can tell me how much, a uh, full of crap I am. And, uh, that's the <laughs> by all means, go ahead. I know it. So, um, but, um, wh what's your preferred style? I'm, I'm really curious. What do you do with a saber that, that makes you, you know, makes you unique? <laughs> This is how I approach it. Thank you for watching. Bye now.